Man, I did get a lot of paint on me. It looks like I just drank paint. I, I swear I didn't. I just splattered myself. But anyway. Hey guys, Sid here. Welcome to Three Mississippi. I, today, I'm gonna do a little landscaping. I've got to clear some of this stuff out and set up these landscape timbers that you see behind me uh, and get them all fitted and get the trenches dug for it and try to all do it before the rain hits because it's fixing to storm and I'm on a time crunch. So let's see if we can do it. All right, guys, there's a lot of weeds that have popped up along the edge here, a lot of dandelions, as you can see. I've got the little hula ho thing out. I am gonna be trying to remove some of that, but first I gotta measure this and see how these boards are gonna fit. Uh, and then I will start removing weeds and digging trenches. Now I'm not gonna get all of these weeds, but I am gonna make a dent here since I do have to dig that trench. Um, it's gonna be pretty soon here. It's gonna be time to mow this all again. Um, and I'm just trying to basically get this area beautified a little bit more. Uh, it was a rough winter, lots of frost. Luckily, a lot of the plants came back, but it just requires some cleanup. And I just wanna kind of fix the edging so that when they are mowing, and doing edging and weed whacking, this area will just be a little bit easier to manage with those logs there. the truth oh it is warm guys no joke okay I'm gonna see if I can fit this in here and if it's flat if I padded it out enough because that is sort of like the first section and that will tell me if I'm doing it well enough or if I need to kind of rethink my life choices here I'm Unfortunately, I started this project a little later in the day than I planned because I was working on other stuff and I still have to go pick up Frankie. Yeah, and then I think if I fill this in with some of that dirt. It is a beautiful spring day. It is warm and it's sunny, it is beautiful. It's gonna rain tomorrow. But <laughs> today, before the rain hits, I'm gonna work on this porch. Uh, I've been working on this landscaping project, putting in the mulch and the landscaping logs, but I'm taking a break from that to get the underside of the porch painted a light blue. For those of you that are not from the South, that is a very common thing you see out here. Supposedly it tricks the bugs, the wasps, the, the dirt daubers, all those things that wanna build nests and try to kill you on your porch. Um, it will make them think it's the sky and then they won't build a nest. And I've already had two wasps try to make a nest. I already thwarted their efforts, but that just tells me it's time to get that sucker painted blue. So that is what we are doing today. And if I have time, I'm gonna have Frankie help me uh, with this lumber out here later today. We'll see if I have time for that. As always, the supervisor, Mr. Bunko is on duty and ready to keep me in line. A lovely sky blue. A little harder to stir through the pore spout.
quite a bit of paint on me. That's from looking up and painting the ceiling and then drops getting on me. But I got this part all done and I just have that little runway section to do and then all the edges. Not too bad, but I'm not done. <laughs> Lots to do still. Lots to do. Whew. Okay, <laughs> that was a lot of time on a ladder, but I just finished all the edging. Um, I may end up going back and painting the corners that are like the white molding blue because on the corners is a lot of times where the wasps specifically try to make their nests. So I may go back and paint that blue, but for today, I think this is good. I got the whole thing painted. I did, as you can see right here, I was removing the light fixture and changing the bulb because only one of the porch lights was working. All the other bulbs burned out, but uh, I dropped one of the screws when I was on the ladder and I cannot find it. Actually, I dropped both of them, but I found one of the screws and I cannot find the other one. And they're a very like specific size. So I'm gonna have to like take the other one to the hardware store, which is good because we're gonna go to the hardware store later today in town and run a few errands. So I'll just take that little screw with me and find one that's the same size that I can use to replace. Um, and I'll maybe grab a few extra in case I decide to drop more because I have to replace all of those. And the one that's right over the door, which is like a different fixture, but also has teeny tiny weird screws. So there's that. And I also killed another wasp while I was up here. So I found another wasp starting to make a nest in this back corner, but I think it looks good. I'm not a big fan of blue, of baby blue, but I don't think it's heinous and I'm so used to seeing it on the porches out here. I think it's fine. Um, my next task, after I clean up my paint mess, I think I'm gonna try to at least lay the rest of these boards out. I wanted to do like little wooden fence things that were like, they looked like um, Lincoln Log, I guess, kind of style fences that you just kind of clip together. But Mike wanted to do these and I, I'm not wild about them for many reasons. I just, I don't, I don't like them. I'm gonna be real. I don't like them. Mike was like, this is what we're gonna use. And I was like, okay, they're ugly. Um, but it is what it is. And so, and they also have to be cut to fit. So, but I gotta lay them out and kind of get like a, like an idea of some of that first before I can finish this and finish putting the mulch in, which I had already wanted to do a couple of weeks ago. Man, I did get a lot of paint on me. It looks like I just drank paint. I, I swear I didn't, I just splattered myself. But anyway, gonna get that done. Uh, at least those laid out, the remainder of them. Hopefully here in the next couple of days, I've got just a side note here for you guys. I do have um, a batch of laying hens coming in that I'll need to brood. And the goslings uh, are in a brooder right now. I'm gonna bump them out to the outside here in a couple of days when the other goose and the other chickens make it into uh, the coop because the coop's almost done. Almost, almost, almost. He said today by Saturday night, which we've got, you know, David and uh, from Come On Home Setting and Mike from Drift and Dreamers 5 coming to visit on Saturday evening. And I'm hopeful that by the time they get here, I'll have moved those birds in there and I'll be able to on Sunday then clean out that brooder and get it all ready for my birds that are coming out this next week. So lots to do in the next few days and I'm behind on videos. So because I was out of town, what are you gonna do? Lots to do. So I'm gonna try to lay these out after I get my paint cleaned up. We're gonna see how it goes. So the porch is where I spend a lot of time when the weather is nice, even when the weather's not good. I have my coffee out here every morning. I sometimes will check emails and watch like come on home settings videos and Tim from Ridge Life's videos and uh, Simple Life Reclaims videos. This is where I generally tend to do that is out here on the porch. And so I like to have things looking pretty on the porch, right? And my plants are coming in for spring. They look amazing. And I just need to kind of clean up this edging here. So. I had started laying these out. Like I said, they're not my favorite. I wanted to go a different route, but Mike was like, this is what we're gonna use. Why, I don't know, but anyway. So I'm gonna finish laying these out. I'm not gonna get them cut today um, because I do have to go to the hardware store for non-related stuff, but I'm gonna get that that uh, laid out at least. And then I'll probably have Frankie help me cut those like in the next week or so, but at least I'll get one step closer to having that part done. <laughs> I need to
I'll be back. I just gave myself massive splinters. I knew I should have grabbed my, uh, <laughs> should have grabbed my gloves first. Well, we just got finished with a whole mess of rain. Um, I was in town picking up some supplies. I needed some more um, pine shavings and some more feed and the hummingbirds are zipping around in front of me. I love it. Right as I was leaving town from running my errands. Oh, and I had to hit the post box because Mr. Ken Cross sent me some wonderful um, meat, poultry and fish seasonings that we're excited to try. In fact, I think we're going to try them um, on the steaks that Mike is cooking for David and Mike from Come On Home Setting and Drifting Dreamers 5 respectively. Uh, tomorrow they will be here. So be on the lookout for that video in the next week. I also made some cowboy caviar, which is essentially like a bean salad with cilantro, bell pepper, purple onion, and some tomato, fresh baked bread, my Amish sourdough potato bread. I made one version as a cinnamon version for dessert when they're here. But as you guys know, I was working on painting the ceiling so that the wasps and the bugs were not interested in making their nests in here anymore and kind of would maybe leave us alone a little bit. And so far, I have to tell you, it's only been like a day and a half. And granted, today was rainy for part of the day. It was nice earlier and then the storm moved in. But it was, uh, it seems to be helping. And I know that's like an old Southern trick is to paint it sky blue and it makes the bugs think that that's the sky and they won't build their nest there. But, and I'm not a big blue fan, but hey, if it works, if it keeps the bugs away from me, I am all about it. So the storm this afternoon did kind of put a hamper on me finishing my landscape project, but it's not really raining right now and the ground is soft. So I think I'm gonna attempt to zhuzh things a little bit. Now, some of these boards still need to be cut and I'm not gonna be doing that today, but I do kind of want to pretty it up and put some of the bark in here right now, just so that it looks a little bit more finished and like put together, I guess. Um, I did pick up, <laughs> my bad, I did pick up some plants today at, at, uh, at the feed store because some wandering Jude, because um, I had one, I had a couple plants in here, but we had one more frost and I forgot to bring them inside and they were limping along and I tried to save them, but it's not going well. So anyway, they got evicted. I did plant them elsewhere, sort of. I'm gonna finish planting them. I kind of just set them on the ground, <laughs> but I'm gonna plant them, I promise. Um, I'm gonna try, we'll see what happens. Um, just because I, I don't know what to do with them. Oh, there's having burgers behind me with the feeder. They've been zipping in and out more and more every day. I love it. So I am going to try to finish this a little bit and get this done, but um, then my porch project will be done for now. Um, <laughs> I will have my little landscaping done out here and I've gotten this painted blue, which I really wanted to do before summer really hit because I did not want to, there were a lot of wasps towards the end of um, this last summer and I, I just, I don't want to deal with them. So I'm hoping that this really does help cut down on the bugs on the porch a little bit. And I did break out my bug, bug zapper, but I need to run a wire and then I need to mount it um, so that it'll work when we're gonna sit out here in the evening specifically. So it'll zap those bad juju bugs. Right now, I'm gonna try to work on these trenches out here a little bit and try to get these landscaping logs firmly in place uh, like I said, I know there's going to be a couple gaps here and there potentially that are going to need to be cut because they're not the same length as the length that I need to do, but that's going to be a project for another day because Mike said that I'm not allowed to use his tools that have sharp blades. I don't know why he has no faith in me, but I also have no faith in me when it comes to that. So I will defer to that on him, but I can dig a trench and I can put a log down. So that's what we're going to do. So it's definitely a little sloshy out here and the rain's still kind of coming off the roof. But as you can see, this is where the gap is and then it ends over there in the plants. I think what I'm gonna do is cut it through. There's like a divider in the plants over here. I think I'm gonna cut it through that and then continue this along. I'm gonna scoot this down so that it touches. See, so I scooted these down so they're butt up against here now, but see how there's a gap there, but I think I can fit one more board through those plants so it'll kind of divide this separately. I think that's what we're gonna do. As you can see, this end piece right here, 
uh, we'll right here for you guys on the camera <laughs> will need to be um, cut and pointed together uh, angle cut so we'll hold off on that but it's at least from the porch view this is gonna look a lot better and then I'm I can fill this in with the rest of the bark so I'm gonna continue down on this side and put another row and then add more bark and straighten it up a little bit <laughs> plants that are already starting to come back up and I don't want to just crush them so I'm kind of doing it in spots and then filling it in like that so that I don't crush these little there's these cool little plants that are there that I don't want to I don't want to kill them so I'm trying to be gentle Okay guys, I was watching David and Mike on uh, Come On Keeping It Real on their drive out to Tim's first stop and uh, on their way to us. And so now when they arrive, look at this flower bed guys. I have to I have to show you. I'm so happy with how it looks. Like it looks, I mean, there's still a little zhuzhing that has to take place, but for the most part, that needs to be weed whacked. And I know there's flowers in there that are like annuals but and then these two gardenias i don't know if they made it through that six degree freeze that we had there's a couple green buds on them i'm hoping that they pull through see there's a few there's a few right here but for the most part it's looking a little sad um so we'll see what happens but and this little situation here is basically because this is where all the water pools and he hasn't put uh, drains on yet but as you can see i've got all of my wood in. I've got all of the mulch in. And I still have to sweep over here a little bit. You can see where I got a little messy. I'm gonna grab the broom and sweep some of my debris, but look how good this looks now. It just kind of brings it back to life, I feel like. Look at that. It's a little muddy, messy right now, but, and yes, there's some weeds around here that need to be whacked. He did mow all of this. And for some reason, there's never any weeds over here. The weeds just like to live over here by my flowers and stuff, so gonna have to get them out here with the weed whacker but at least now with the border it's gonna be so much easier for him to just come right up to the edge even with the zero turn and not worry about getting into the mulch or any of that so I am super excited I think it looks amazing between the porch getting painted uh, for my anti-bug regime that I have going now and all of my plants I mean look at how beautiful they're coming back I mean, they look amazing. I think Rory would be very proud of me. The previous owner would be proud that I've that I've that I'm kept the plants going. The gardenias, we're not sure. A little iffy on that. But man, guys, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. I'm so happy. So now we've got the full effect behind me here. Don't mind that. That's the next project. I gotta power wash the side of the house because it got very dirty during the last few storms here and that we had in the winter. But man, it looks so good. I am so happy with it. It took me over the course of like two weeks because I was gone for a week and the, it was really rainy and other things were going on. But man, I got that little project done. I got the porch painted on to the next thing. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you and we will see you next time. Until then, safety's off. <laughs>